And a good Saturday afternoon to you, Roger Hill of Weathering Heights, Velco Weather Hazards Forecaster. This weather video is driven by 802cars.com, representing 802 Toyota, Twin City, Subaru, and 802 Honda, all located off of Exit 7 on Interstate 89. Country at large, this is the leftovers of our large weather system with a big plume uh, tapping into the tropics and subtropics. And, of course, we have cold weather now that's sweeped in and occasional snow showers and flurries dusting up many areas. Current conditions, a big trough of lower pressure is indicated here by uh, the 500 hectopascal thicknesses. Also, as you can see, uh, surface lows and whatnot. Uh, this, of course, is swinging on out. It's going to leave us with more or less a kind of zonal flow with little shortwave troughs in between until one digs more and begins to carve out a uh, bigger trough and eventually uh, what could be problematical here for us, roughly the timing, unfortunately, on the holiday, yes, New Year's Eve. And you're looking at the European here, the incremental uh, six hourly uh, transitions. We have a little bit of snow shower and flurry action that came in this morning. This is uh, the main frontal boundary I just showed you that's uh, whipped off the coast, our last storm system with its rainfall. And uh, colder temperatures, of course, coming over the Great Lakes, which are relatively warmer waters, will create convergence and lake effect plumes that will extend downwind of the sources. And some of that gets into Vermont, a lot of that, of course, in the Adirondack Mountains, some heavier snowfall, much heavier snowfall off to the west of us right now. And a uh, little bit of that kind of scoots along uh, to the north of our region into tonight, especially it could dust up our roads and maybe produce a couple of inches in some locations, mostly across our northern Green Mountains. Now that then dries out over Sunday. We have a little bit of a ridge of higher pressure. It's very weak, but it does the job sort of in between weather systems and weather influences. So then we have a little bit more of a southerly wind beginning to kick in. And that's actually going to warm things up. Just temperatures a little bit warmer, uh, picking up some of that warmer air off the Ohio Valley, uh, lower Great Lakes and middle Atlantic states and into Vermont for a time on Monday. As we get closer, uh, once we get into around 16, 17, 18Z, we're going to see a little bit more snow shower activity begin to work in, especially Monday night and into the day on Tuesday, a little bit into Tuesday night. And then beyond that, that gets wiped out and high pressure begins to build into the west for what should be a couple fairly nice days. We're talking Wednesday, Thursday of uh, the mid to late part of next week. And then beyond that, we have digging action that's going to be taking place. This is driving another surface low with another plume and, of course, source, source moisture coming in out of the Gulf of Mexico uh, involving some heavier precipitation, and that is mostly in the form of rain. Also, a major warm-up, high pressure off to the east, big inflow of warm southern climate air, and that's going to be pushing in. And it does look like once we get into Friday, New Year's Day, this is, of course, the 1st of January, just beyond the period, uh, looks like we're under the gun here with... Uh, Gradient winds and what could be some locally heavy rainfall followed by a cold front. That cold front looks like it's going to be uh, dropping some uh, healthy amounts of rainfall and then probably a switch over to snow. That's a long ways out. This is just a little bit beyond the period. Beyond that, looks like an area of higher pressure builds in for quiet weather as we go into next weekend. GFS Ensemble and the European match up very well with uh, very little in the way of precipitation with this kind of... Uh, uh, flow here coming zonal, uh, only Great Lakes moisture, occasional lake effect, and only until we have colder than normal air uh, working in over the Great Lakes. Once that warms up by the time we get toward Monday, we're not looking at any precip. So very minor indications here with three hourly QPF. Until we hit the uh, main, here's the 31st, this would be January 1st, and this is our main storm. The GFS Ensemble, uh, which is mixed in with the Canadian Ensemble, and the European are now signaling and matching up very nicely and that looks to be fairly high confidence for this next storm system. Unfortunately, landing, yes, on a holiday. And uh, total QPF looks like this at this point. So we're up around one inch amounts. Now, the precipitable water, a little bit up and down here. Um, looks like this. But you can see this major buildup of moisture headed our way. Again, this is the 31st on Thursday and then the 1st on Friday. And this period ends at 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time on the uh, 1st. A uh, little bit of an uptick here, but nothing major. Mostly dry through this period. Again, our total QPF looks like this. Not a whole lot to work with. 
Okay, this is our warm air mask we had up through midnight uh, last night, and it is on its way out. We're getting a little bit of cooling coming in with this trough that have pulled in uh, some cold air on the back side of it, and of course, warm air on the front side, and now that's shifting east, so we're getting into some cold air advection. But that's the way things are set up currently right now. Okay, this is the uh, 850 hectopascal, roughly a temperature level at the top of Mount Mansfield. And here comes that colder air, of course. It is Saturday. This is valid at uh, 1 o'clock this afternoon. That's uh, 1 o'clock in the morning. We've got cold air invection, and we're running about uh, somewhere around 5, 6, 7 degrees below normal at that point. That being, then gets whisked on out. We have a little minor uptick in temperature. You can see that that is on Monday. Makes Monday a little bit warmer day above the freezing mark and trying to make a run toward 40 degrees Fahrenheit. But then uh, right after that, here comes a little bit of a colder drop in temperature. And it looks like this air mass is cooling as we get over time here. Moving into Vermont by Tuesday. So cold Tuesday and probably into the first part of Wednesday before a more major warm-up. This is an area of higher pressure significant with that flow returning again off the uh, Gulf of Mexico through the Ohio Valley, Mississippi Valley, uh, lower Great Lakes into the Northeast United States. And this is what's setting up. Once we get into Thursday and then eventually Friday, New Year's Day, and you can see that uh, we're well above normal once again in temperature, running about uh, 12, 13, 14, almost 15 degrees above normal, and that's the temperatures, of course, taken to top Mount Mansfield. Looking at two meter temperatures here, and uh, take a look at the uh, Euro plot of high temperatures over that. But anyways, needless to say, 32 degrees, cold enough to snow and stick above. Cold enough, uh, warm enough to rain. Again, this is going to be on Tuesday. Then we cool off, sharp cold front, and then we warm up and moderate a whole lot as we get toward New Year's Day and next weekend. This is meteorological output statistics over the next five days. Just your max temperature shown. We're running about uh, weighted anywhere from 6 to 9 degrees above normal. And then our next day, three days later, six to nine degrees above normal so northeast uh, corner of the u.s is going to be seeing warmer than normal temperatures this is daily snow extent and uh, looking at northern hemisphere snow cover so up through now uh 2020 2021 we've seen a pretty herky-jerky weather pattern here and this is the most recent uptick and then way down below here we've fallen off considerably and uh, it's really a lot of that is uh, really North America is kind of controlling a lot of that. And you can see North America looks like this. Pretty good spikes. And I'm going to leave you with this. This is our uh, Mount Mansfield average snowfall or snow depth, the snow at the stake. And we average running uh, about 74 inches or so. And if anything, of course, we're well below normal. You can see where we are on this particular date or the closest date to it, the 23rd. And we should be seeing around almost 30 inches of total snow uh, at the stake. We only got about 13. And this may have even fallen since our last uh, and likely fallen with the big warm up here. So it's uh, not looking too good right now with snow. However, with these kind of systems, the way they've been coming across, I have a feeling that January and February and into March will have makeup snowfall. Roger Hill, Weathering Heights. Thanks for watching.